fans, it's Gregors, and awesome to see you all, and thanks for joining me for another episode of Boy Meets Beauty. So, as it is now, like, October, we are crawling away from summer and getting, well, here at least in the States or this side of the world, um, crawling into cooler and colder weather, which can sometimes have adverse effects on your skin. So today we are going to talk about how to winterize your skin. And when I say winterize, I mean, you know, prep it and combat all of those really drying effects of colder, harsher weather. Um, you know, it's even here in LA where it's usually moderate all year, like it does, it definitely gets colder, it gets a little bit drier, especially since the summer was like so wacky and humid, that it can kind of play with your skin. So let's go down the list and talk about ways to keep your skin nice and healthy all winter long. Now, number one thing I recommend is chill out on the long hot showers. I know there's nothing like, you know, luxuriating in a hot shower and like leaving your conditioner in forever and like singing some fifth harmony, blah, blah, you know, whatever. Well, at least that's what I was doing. Um, but you know, the, here's the scoop. A shower over five minutes is a little bit too much because that, that point is when you're going to start to strip your natural oils away from your skin and it can cause over drying uh, in the skin as well. Also, anything too hot is going to be really, really drying. So less than five minutes, not super hot. And here's a trick. When you get out of the shower, pat your skin dry and immediately put on your body lotion. The fact that your skin is already wet, it will suck up all of that moisturizer better. Now, what I like to do with my body moisturizer in the winter is spike it with a little bit of body oil. So I do like a couple pumps of lotion or scoop and then um, shoot a little oil into that. And it makes it like really kind of luxurious and emollient and it gives your body like a nice sheen too. So try those. Now, if you are still experiencing dehydration, which can happen in all skin types, oily, combination, dry, doesn't matter, try adding a humidifier in your bedroom. We talked about this like a long time ago. I mentioned it again add a humidifier. What that's going to do is put the moisture back into the air. You want to fill it with cool water to avoid bacteria growth and a cool one is um, better for your environment as well just because it has to do depending on temperatures and where you are you know with too much moisture in the air is not good. So but what that's going to do is fill the room with more humidity, moisture, um, and your skin is going to suck it all up and you'll have naturally hydrated skin when you wake up so it will be lovely and it's also really good for like your throat and stuff if it gets dry um next one bump up your moisturizers and your hydrators if you are using something really light and oil free in the summertime add a hydrator underneath that it can still be oil free it can be a hyaluronic gel um if you're using a light moisturizer bump it up and go a little richer or heavier or if you're worried about something that's a little too rich for daytime nighttime is a great time to use a richer cream i love a rich cream at nighttime i am like yes I'm like butter, 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 but of course I wouldn't do it in the day because it's probably gonna be too shiny and too greasy. But nighttime is a great and amazing time to do this. So I love it for that. Next one, drink extra water. Lots and lots and lots of water. Carry a water bottle around with you all over the place and drink tons of it every day. You're gonna hydrate your body from the inside out. You're also gonna help you to flush toxins out of your system. It's gonna help give the skin a nice, healthy glow. So lots of water is really important, especially if you do a lot of sports activities or if you're flying because the flying just sucks the moisture right out of your skin. Um, next one, don't forget the SPF. Yes, you still have to wear your sunscreen, even if it is like gloomy, cloudy, and pre-snowy out, you know, because what that, that, those UVA and UVB rays are still getting through to your skin and still causing all that damage and wreaking that havoc. And a lot of people don't realize, they think just because they're like not on the beach that they don't need that daily sun protection factor. But the scoop is, is that it really is much better to protect your skin on a daily basis, regardless of whether or not it's cloudy or bright or pretty whatever it's really that daily exposure that builds up right because let's be honest we're all great when we're on vacation we're like I am a sunscreen expert and everybody buys it and puts it in their bag on the beach but it's really the everyday exposure so don't forget to do that in the winter time too I also wrote down another little pro tip that I love um, if your skin starts to get a little dry looking and you're putting on your makeup and it's like totally just like you know the walking dead not cute like a little roadmap of fine 
fine lines and stuff. Take your foundation and tap, add a drop or two of moisturizer in it. You can use like the back of your hand as the palette, and then you're just gonna kind of put that on with your brush or your fingertips. That's gonna help to make it a little bit more moisturizing. It'll soften any dry fine lines or any dry looks on the skin, and it'll also kind of give you that nice, radiant, dewy glow. It's a great, easy trick to combat the look of really dry skin. And don't forget to try a couple of masks during the week. That's really nice to do to combat drier skin. I love that. Or even some nice oils on the skin are really, really good. Um, you know, to do an oil press, you just want to warm it into your hands on clean, dry skin and just press, press, press it in. Sleep in it one, two nights a week and you will wake up like, ah, all radiant and glowing and everyone's going to be all... What did they do last night? Um, anyway, those are my winterizer skin tips. I hope you guys found them useful. Share with us down below what do you do during the winter time to keep your skin all fresh and healthy. I, we want to hear from you. You guys are awesome at sharing with each other, too. I love it. You all answer each other's questions. It's fabulous. So thank you, thank you, thank you all. Anyway, don't forget to follow me on social media, at Gregor's LA, on Instagram and Twitter, Gregory Dillon, on Snapchat and Pinterest. And that is it. I will see you guys soon. I hope you're all having a fabulous week. I love you and keep it beautiful.